Hi, I'm Jonathan Hoyle, and welcome to this session that I've called Your Greatest Asset is Your Greatest Risk. Let me begin by asking you a question. What's your greatest asset? Most people would answer with, with answers such as their house or their superannuation. Whilst there's no doubt these are assets of significant value, the truth is, as a medical professional, your greatest asset is the net present value of your future earning stream. What, what do I mean by that? Well, for a 45, let's take an example. A 45-year-old medical practice owner, and she's earning $750,000 a year. That equates to a net present value of $10 million. That's an asset, and it needs protecting. It's not an exaggeration to say that your financial future is almost 100% dependent on your ability to earn an income. As a doctor, there are unique threats from the critical use of your hands to the threat of needle prick injury that other professionals just simply don't face. As a result, it is critical that you ensure this earning stream to the maximum permitted amounts. Thankfully, the solution is easy, but it's not necessarily simple. So bear with me a moment. The answer is an insurance policy called income protection. As the name suggests, these policies do exactly that. They protect your income in the event that you are unable to work due to sickness or injury. But income protection policies, they're not like, they're not like liters of fuel, they're not like bottles of milk that you can pick up from Woolies. In other words, they're not indistinguishable commodities. They are very, very different. And it's vital that the insurance policy that you choose is just right for your situation. But it covers you for all the risks to which you are uniquely exposed. You, you can't and you simply mustn't buy one of those online policies at a knockdown price which are indistinguishable from everyone else's. There are so many variables to consider. It's essential to know what you're buying. And this is where professional advice becomes invaluable. First, let me tell you a story. This story is about a guy called John, and John is a 48-year-old specialist surgeon, and he runs a very successful practice, and it grosses over a million dollars per annum. At the recommendation of a colleague, John took out an income protection policy, as well as a life insurance policy, about 10 years ago, and he hadn't reviewed the policies since. Much to the shock of John and his family, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. And this devastating blow threatened to interrupt his capacity to work for a significant amount of time. Apart from his health concerns, John was deeply anxious about his financial future. He had a cash buffer and he knew he had some insurance in place, but it had been 10 years since the policies had been arranged. John decided to ask some hard questions that he really wished he'd asked 10 years ago. Unfortunately for John, his policy was an older style contract and it will require him to be totally disabled. That's it. What that means is he can perform no work whatsoever, let alone medical work, in order to receive the full monthly benefit. Well, that was 10 years ago. Things have moved on in the insurance industry since. It's an innovative industry, and the policies are much, much better than they used to be. There are now specific policies tailored just for the medical industry. For example, there's a policy that will allow John to work up to 10 hours a week and still be defined as totally disabled, and therefore still be able to receive that full monthly benefit. Those policies didn't exist 10 years ago. Another question to consider would be, the insurance cover for his business overheads. Now, unfortunately, John's insurance was only taken out to cover his income. The overheads of his business would remain in place and would rapidly deplete any cash buffer. Now, this could have been protected by a policy known as a business expense policy. What about if after the operation he couldn't perform specialist surgeon duties, but he could continue to work, maybe in a, in a non-medical function? Would his insurance refuse to pay? Well, it depends on the policy he took out. With a really high quality income protection policy, and these exist today, after the waiting period has passed, the policy will pay a monthly benefit for as long as John is unable to perform his duties as a result of that accident or that sickness. 
If John is able to return to work, say in a, in a reduced capacity, then that policy will pay a partial payment. If he's unable to ever return to work, then the monthly benefit is paid until the agreed, the pre-agreed benefit period, which is usually till the age of 65. If John elected to return to work in an administrative capacity or in a completely different role or a reduced income, then the income protection policy would pay the difference between the sum he insured and the income he's deriving from the new administrative role. So in conclusion, let me leave you with this question. Have you protected your greatest asset? If the answer is no, or you haven't checked in a while, then please give me a call and I will organise for you to have a consultation with one of our leading risk experts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.